Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Elf Belkin Gaming and before we get into this video about this Belfong UB82 I want to apologize for the background noise and if my audio is not really loud so yeah I, I apologize for that. There's been some air conditioning issues and what, you're, what you hear in the background is fans blowing because it's very hot here. Anyway, uh, this Belfong uh, UV82 was sent to me as a gift for my birthday by a friend of mine uh, back in Nevada. Um, and I'm just going to go over it real, real quickly. This is the radio, of course. I've been, I've been using it, had it out. But anyway, here's the box. What to expect. Um, a and I code, which is DTMF. 65 to 108 megahertz FM radio. It's got PL, DPL, or CTS, CSS, and SF. An emergency alarm, uh, call tone, 1750 hertz, high low power, DTMF encode, and it's got a little flashlight on it. Uh, dual watch, dual PTT, um, FM approved. I don't know how true that is. FCC, there's that and the back of the box this stuff yeah here is the uh, battery turn some light on here here's the battery 7.4 volts it's a lithium ion battery model BL-8 there and we have the radio itself it does come with a drop-in charger and a switch mode type power adapter 100 volts to 240 volts with the uh, United States type plug output 10 volts at 0.5 amps half an amp uh, the center pin is positive on this barrel and I'm holding this camera with my hand because I don't have a tripod in here it's really kind of cramped in here. Anyway, we go to the back of the radio. Go band transceiver UB82, 5 watts, which we will test that in a minute. 7.4 volts, 136 to 174, 400 to 520. And there you go. Now, it's important to note <coughs> that where well, you can transmit with this radio legally. Amateur radio, of course, or if you have a Part 90 LMR license, it is allowed there only on your licensed frequency. No FRS, no GMRS, no MERS, none of that is by the letter allowed by the FCC. If you want to be by the letter, just amateur radio bands, or um, if you have a Part 90 license, then only there. Otherwise, it's a no-no. Not that anybody's enforcing it or anything. Hey, here's the manual. And it says pretty much the same thing. Alarm by 128 channels. This one says a little more. Program will go by PC. Dual standby, dual reception, battery saving, wire clone, meaning you can clone it. Dual PTT key. Uh, we'll go back to the radio in a minute. But it's in uh, English. It is in English, and it does go into, I guess, other languages as you carry on through the book. Um, yeah, maybe not. Anyway, right over there. Now, to the radio. I'm going to put this uh, camera down right here for a minute. I'm going to put the battery on so we can turn the radio on. I need both hands to do it. Okay, and I'm back. Got the battery on there, and hopefully this thing won't run out of memory again like it just did. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. UV82, um, if you never owned one, um, you get one, you'll notice it has two buttons. Well, for the PTT, that's an A and a B. That is for, well, monitor A and B. You have a dual band radio it's got that you have the F and M uh, FM radio and monitor so what I'm going to do is turn this on 
Beep, beep, welcome. Red knob say, okay. The A works on when you have A selected, A being the top row. There's an AB button here that will change it to the bottom transceiver or the top transceiver. Okay. The display seems to be pretty clear. Uh, there are no dead pixels. Um, you can see everything. There's and when you transmit, of course, it turns red and standby, it's purple. And in receive mode, it is blue. F is for the FM. Let's make sure we get a copyright strike. So my MCN will drop me again. Let's turn that off. This for the flashlight. And it's also got a blinking uh, feature. It's got two LEDs right here and here. And these are rubberized uh, lenses. One's receive, one's transmit. Green and red, of course. Uh, programming cable. I could go into program. The problem with programming is I couldn't get it to work on my uh, Windows 10 computer for some reason. But it takes the standard Kenwood style thing right there. <coughs> this is not a waterproof radio. It's not IP67 or any of that. Now I program this in channel mode, so we've got you know our tones and stuff. All of this it shows, but you can't change it because it's now locked in channel mode. So what we're going to do now, what did I do with it? Oh, it's over here. Um, I'm going to look at the wattage. Now, what I've got here, what we have here is the Telewave watt meter. Um, over here on this end, we've got a 25 watt dummy load, my decibel, 50 ohms, 25 watts. You can probably see that. That came off an old transmitter combining unit. And uh, going forward, I'm going to unplug this from the computer. It's a shame I have to plug all this in. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video and hook all this up. There's, there's, there's the wire, and we're going to this SMA type through that, uh, through this, and into here. So I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back, and I got it all hooked up. And you see, here's the radio. Going to the cable. Here's all the cable. The bench. Into the watt meter we go. Okay, so we're going to start out with VHF here. Red being, meaning red dot in the business band, the part 90 band. 151.625. Let's hit that transmit button and see what we get. Looks like we got about 4 watts on VHF. Okay, we'll switch to B. B is a UHF 464.5. And we got about, looks like about four and a quarter watts. So we got a little more on UHF than VHF. That's not bad. Um, do I have a higher frequency? Oh, excuse me. Of course, if I put this in reverse, it's going to show flat, but can you do it again? Um, also, if you just hit the top button, it will automatically change to, to the top. And, yeah, about four, four watts. And that was A. Here's B. Change this. Four and a quarter, four, yeah, about four and a quarter, four and a third. I don't know, it's, it's in there. 
Oh, what was that? It's okay, so we yeah, have about four watts. Um, really, uh, UV82. I can't check the receiver, though I will put in a piece of footage from some ham guys talking earlier. I am about 10 miles away from that repeater that they're talking on. So I'll, I'll include that in at the end of the video so you can see the receive, at least on two meters. Um, it works well. It works really well. It's, it's not, not too bad. But yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I got. To, to this ready to go. I can my camera. Oh God, this this camera keeps freezing. I don't know if it's doing it with the with the actual recording or not. But it's I don't know what it's. Anyway. I'm Elf Duff that gaming is the Balfang UV82 with the power test. Um, and I guess I can, uh, you guys can watch the last part of the video of the uh, reception from about 10 to 12 miles out of town uh, on 2 meters. And I will see you guys in the next video.